How you doing? I'm Mikey Madness, aka Seuss, here with the legendary godfather of graffiti, Cornbread. How you doing? Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. We had the um, the recorder send. I'm featuring all the artists, um, statewide that is, um, just playing the art exhibition, the works that they've done. Um, I was just telling a friend of mine that they need to have my art here. Definitely. However, they don't. They're not recognizing graffiti as art. But America going to going to recognize um, graffiti as art. One way or another. Definitely, we'll make yeah, it. Yeah, we'll yeah, yeah. They have no other choice. From yeah. Generation to generation. We'll yeah. Never, we'll never stop. Yeah, like Kevin was asking me about the elephant. I want to confirm the story. Yeah, Kev, I did bet on the elephant. Uh, that was years ago when he erroneously announced my death in the newspapers. Um, although right now I had done, um, I just wasn't letting me want to let it go in vain because my reputation wasn't going to go into the ground. And the only way that I could bring it back was to um, announce that cornbread lives. So I went to the ele I went to the zoo, and I watched the zookeeper um, scrub this elephant down. I'm not scrubbing it, but hosing down with the hose, um, with the rake, break up his peanuts, with the shovel, we picked up his waist. Um, I seen the elephant. I seen the um, zookeeper tug his tail, his ears, and uh, um, play with his tail. So the elephant. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And this is like basically for the for the audience. The elephant had been in captivity for so, for so long, it became tame. And I seen where the zookeeper was not in danger, I would not be in danger. So on the third day, at early in the morning, I went to the zoo, and I spray painted on his side, Cornbread Lives. Then I ran to the other side and wrote Cornbread Lives on the other side of him. Um, I mean, it was like big publicity in newspapers. And I knew then that it was time for me to take my art skill to another level. So. Writing on walls wasn't my flavor anymore because I left that to the wall writers. That's what separated me from the rest of the writers. And I started writing on skyscrapers and, and airplanes and cop cars and paddy wagons. And one of the airplanes that I wrote on went to California. And it was big news. Philadelphia graffiti artist spray paint TWA Jet. In fact, this is Dr. Cool calling me right now. He's another renowned. Yeah. Dr. Cool number one. Hey, Dr. Cool, what's going on, my brother? You, we, you're being, you're being aired. You're being shot as, we t as I talk to you on, 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 on the, um, on. This is Dr. Cool number one. He's, he's one of my, one, yeah, he's another, yeah, yeah. He's, he's my closest friend. It was three of us. Dr. Cool number one, cornbread and titty. Hey, Dr. Cool. Say something. I got you on the, I got you on the mic. Say something. Talk, man, talk. Just keep, just, just keep talking. Keep talking. Yeah, that was Dr. Cool number one. Yeah, I hear. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I'm, I'm here being filmed, man, by, uh, um, by a, a TV crew at the Lakota Center. They got a fly that they're having, um, um, that they're giving, that they're giving a tribute to my honor. At Temple University, Friday, September 17th. You got to come, man. Yeah, bring. bring yeah, Dr. Dr. Koo will be there. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Hey, Dr. Koo, you on television now as we speak? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep telling you, motherfucker. <laughs> you got one legend in front of you, and then there's another legend on the phone. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Stay fly in Philadelphia. It's a cable. It's a, it's a cable station. I gotta go, man. You ain't gonna steal my show, man. <laughs> yeah, and the and, and the airplane went back to California and it hit the local news. Wasn't that a wasn't that a band's airplane? Or no, that was a a, 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 a 747 TWA. Yeah, well, didn't it belong to a certain group? The, 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 the Jackson Five was on board. They was Jackson coming Fox. here to do a show at the Uptown. And the reason how I got there was um, the um, the radio DJ Georgie Woods announced on the radio that any interested autograph seekers who wanted the Jackson 5 autograph should come to the airport. Um, the security at the, it was at the airport wasn't like it is today. Yeah. So I goes down there amongst maybe 50, 60 other people and um, when Randy, Tito, Jackie, Marlo and Michael came down the steps and the last other entourage came down the steps. I went up the steps and I spray painted cornbread on the side of the CWA 747 when the plane reached its final destination, which was California, Los Angeles, um, 
it automatically makes the local news fill up a graffiti artist spray paint TWA jet. And when the uh, um, news, uh, um, Hollywood Hot Shots read an article, they wanted to um, know who Cornbread was, yeah. which led them back to Philadelphia. And they came back, and, what, they, what they called and said, who was Cornbread? Yeah. And he's a graffiti fanatic who writes his name everywhere. So, hello? Hello? I'm, I'm being shot right now. I can't talk right now, mama. That was somebody else. So, um, they sent representatives, representatives here. <coughs> was the people from here said that Cornbread's a graffiti fan who writes his name on everything. Um, elephants, skyscrapers, cop cars, paddy wagons. Even airplanes. Which, right. Well, they didn't know that they didn't know that was on an airplane yeah. until Los Angeles called him and told him. They said, well, he just wrote his name on an airplane. Are you serious? Yes. And we want to we want to come to Philadelphia and find him, and with, with, with attempts of making a movie about about cornbread. Yeah. So I met him about three months later, and I got a lawyer for legal representation. And when I brought the lawyer to the table to sign contracts to make everything official, um, they didn't like that. Didn't me bring in the lawyer. Yeah. So they told me their lawyer was my lawyer. I said my lawyer is my lawyer, and your lawyer is your lawyer, and. They insist I get rid of them. I didn't. So they got rid of me and my lawyer. I yeah. went to Southside Chicago and made the movies about me. The movies, the name of the movies was named after me and Cool Earl. Cornbread Earl and me. Yeah. So it's me and Earl, yeah, they, changed, they changed the plot from hip hop in the black streets of Philadelphia to uh, basketball. They changed the characters from me and Cool Earl and Dr. Cool and Chewy to Keith Wilkes, Larry Pittsburgh, and other actors. Yeah. They changed. Um, the location from Philadelphia to South South Chicago. Everything was changed except my name and Earl's name for the title of the picture. Yeah. I mean, that picture made millions and millions and millions of dollars. I never got a rare penny. Um, I met Sean McKnight, who was doing a documentary about my life, which will be aired this this January. Um, I'm rewriting Cornbread Earl and Me. I'm, I'm talking about the real deal about yeah. what the, um, what cool, Cornbread Earl and Me was really about. It was it wasn't about basketball. Yeah. Um, I'm writing a book which should be finished possibly in August or sooner that sooner than that. And I would suggest you all buy the book. Oh yeah. Thank you, Cornbread. Yes, sir, my pleasure. Definitely. All right. Definitely. All it's right. been a pleasure to talk here with Cornbread today and uh, association with Fresh Out Media, Mikey Manis and the uh, the Jessup fam, Cornbread, Cool Earl, Titty, Doctor Cool Number One. And all the Philadelphia legends and future legends and wall writers out there doing their thing. Peace. Peace out.